Hello everyone and welcome back to the best game series. Today we are going to take a look at the game between Wesleyan Chapello and Fabiano Hawano. <laughs> this game was played in the 7th round in the Sinkerfield Cup 2014. This tournament was one of the greatest tournaments that Fabiano Hawano has played. He, he started the tournament with a uh, rating performance of 3600 or 300. Uh, or 3,600. He beat many of the strongest players in that uh, time, like his Carlson, Wesley Tebalo, uh, GM Hikaru Nakamura, uh, Levon Aronia, Maxim Vasilagrov, and many more. This was one of his best tournaments and best uh, tournaments in his career, and also uh, he said that it was just like a dream of his. So uh, the game we are going to take a look at is the seventh round game between Wesley Tapalo and Fabian Corona. Wesley Tapalo, in his picks of 2014, uh, starts the game with uh, knight to f3. We have knight to f6 by Caruana, c4 by Tapalo. Uh, we, uh, we have a transposition to the English opening, c5, symmetrical, knight c3, and then knight to f6. This is still theory. G3 and D5. So Karana breaks in the center, uh, offering a trade of pawns. So the pawn in the outside center is going to be traded most likely to the uh, D5 pawn. So we have takes, takes, and then takes. So, so here uh, in the single full cup, uh, as he uh, as Karuana, uh, sorry about that. Haruana has played, uh, as I said, he had uh, won against um, Hikaru, Carlson, uh, Lebon Aronian, and uh, Tapalo, and even Maximo Shelagra. And uh, from all those games, I think that this was one of his brilliant games. Because I think that the way he played this game is just a brilliant see. So let's see how it continues. We have Knight C7, Castles, and E5. A3, Rook B8 d3 and already black has this setup already looking at that d4 square so he has regrets control on the d4 square and now white controls the e4 square now most likely black's plan is i think to play something like f5 and try to gain control over there and to try to plan this knight on d4 and then uh, move this knight to e6 uh, when this bishop gets out we have bishop e7 so Karuana uh, is ready to castle king side and uh, uh, play the game. We have bishop to e3, castles by uh, Karuana, rook c1, bishop d7, and d2. Now most likely he'll read out this knight to e4 or c4. We have knight to d4, as I said. He wants to plant this knight on d4 and then play. We have knight to c4, attacking the pawn on e5. And f6. So, uh, from this position, I think that it was really kind of. Uh, it's still move number 13, and this is like critical because um, Karuana makes all the threads uh, correctly at the right time, at the right moment. We had f4, and uh, as I said, he makes the right thread at the right moment. Pawn takes, bishop takes, and knight e6. So, uh, uh, yeah, knight e6. So you uh, bring the knight back, so hitting the bishop, and then you, w if you just place him like b8, would be one, then you uh, check on f4, and you'll be happy with the double bishop pair. Bishop to d2, b6, g4, bishop e8. And uh, also now only I remember that uh, this is again from the series of uh, the best game. Uh, the last uh, one that, that I showed was the Kasparov's brilliancy against Carpo. So bishop e1, b5, and knight to e3. Now uh, he's uh, trying to get control on d5 square. So how can we stop it? Now already we have... Uh, two pieces looking but he has three pieces looking so uh, we cannot play knight f4 or knight c7 so how can we stop him well we cannot stop him we allow him now he plays knight cd5 knight takes bishop takes 
bishop h7 and I think in this game that one particular thing was that Caruana uh, like in this game I don't think there will be a, a chance for you all to pause the video and think because he just plays a blue brilliant you will have to uh, uh, get an engine and see all of this so now we have network 5 attacking the bishop now do you just give up that bishop no you move it away you need the double bishop pair even if this is going to be somewhat like a bad bishop this is a kind of stay, uh, the thing you want you don't the uh, double bishop pair we have queen to d2 and uh, again uh, this uh, bishop's not hanging because of knight is unchecked uh, for king there so knight d4 bishop takes f7 check rook f7 and rook to d1 knight takes f5 pawn takes f5 queen d4 check king h1 and rather than taking i want you all to pause the video and think and uh, so bishop f2 uh, so rather than taking he doesn't he does another move so i want you all to pause the video and find a good continuation for Fabiano Caruana. So now again, you have to move the queen, uh, the bishop's attack. If you look, ignore. If you just ignore the queen, then I don't think there's much of anything. And Caruana doesn't take there. He plays queen to g4, check, king to h1, and c4. So this is how grandmasters play and again if you take their screen for check and the problems are coming occurring for white we have queen c2 rook e8 and now he takes uh now the queen guards on e4 so after he takes there's no queen e4 check because the queen can be easily taken so after d c4 we have queen to h5 threatened mate in one h4 and now queen to g4 threaten mate again after queen h3 king g1 queen h2 is gonna be mate queen d3 bc4 queen to e3 rook of c7 so when this uh, qu uh, d takes pawn was made uh, the queen cannot go to any of these squares uh, uh, even not even this square so he has to make a choice on these two squares uh, topalo went over here so let's see what if queen f3 well it's just like the same move of uh, what topello made uh, we'll just take take and then after queen fp2 the pawn pushing let's see look here 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 and some like rook e7 the, it's like a zoom zoom for white he has nothing let's see bishop, bishop moves just rook e2 uh, you have to trade trade rook d1 uh, I think bishop c3, uh, bishop c3, and then at some point you are gonna play the rook over here, or over to e3, and then grab this pawn. And this is a totally fine position. So after bc4, we had queen to e3 by Topalov, rook f e7, and now after b3, bishop to b2, uh, Topalov resigned as there's nothing much more to be done. Um, now you have to move your queen the. Uh, the threat is rook takes e3 so uh let's say queen d2 uh if you move queen d2 then uh, this is coming already there are lots of threats even c3 for c3 or even like queen h3 so that that's totally meaningful for him queen h3 and then some like king g1 uh rook e4 and this is coming like rook e4 and um Ah, and he has this oh and then he takes it so we cannot go rookie four but um it's only like c3 c3 and then after we click the queen out this position is totally fine like some like queen g4 h2 and um yeah we should be check h1 h3 no. so yeah uh, so I think that um, it was a really beautiful game by Fabian Caruana and that's why I took it as uh, the best game of Caruana and uh, well uh, I think that I've, I have seen another game that he played brilliantly so I think that uh, uh, 
there will be a part two again so yeah uh, so thank you for watching and i'll see you soon with more chess content and uh, yeah bye